So there's eye-opening documentaries, visionary short films, family classic. Those are just a few of the movies mm -hmm. that you're going to find on the screen at Film Streams. They've spent 10 years sharing the art of film with Omaha, and they have plenty planned for the future. True. Patrick Kinney is here to fill us in. Good to see you, Patrick. Hey, good to be here. Oh, welcome. No, we're just talk as a movie person, that Dunkirk seems interesting. Yeah. We were no, just talking it, about it's, that. Uh, it's going to be one of the film events of the summer. Yeah. Uh, I think everybody's excited to see that on the big screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Film Stream, uh, 10 years, something called... 10 for 10. That's right. What's yeah. this all about? So we are celebrating uh, at the end of this month our 10th anniversary in North Downtown at the Ruth Sokolov Theater. Uh, we opened our doors on July 27th, uh, 2007. So uh, we figured this is an occasion to kind of celebrate those 10 years and, and blow it out with uh, a bunch of events. Uh, so uh, it starts with the series, which is called 10 for 10. Mm -hmm. uh, our staff and board, we all put on our thinking caps and came up with our top 10 lists. There are top 10 films uh, that we've shown in the t first 10 years mm -hmm. uh, out of 1,600 films. That's a lot, yeah. 1,600 in 16, 10? Oh, yeah, my. Yeah. How do you narrow that down? It was hard. We gave ourselves like wow. three weeks. Everybody was, you know, it, it, was, it was tough. Had to make some tough choices. But we put them all together and tallied them up, and we figured out which of them made, made the cut. Uh, so it's just some of the best independent films of the last 10 years and one classic. Uh, right now, we started things off this last weekend with Nebraska, uh, oh, which yeah, is our yeah. biggest I film of all time. That. Alexander Payne's yep. that shows one more time in the series. Uh, we, we also have uh, this week uh, Let the Right One In, which is a Swedish vampire movie that we showed all the way back in 2008. And it's really exciting that that made the cut, too. It's a movie that stayed with us for nine years, enough that wow, uh, yeah. a bunch of us voted for it. Um, we're also uh, having a big celebration on Saturday, uh, July 29th. Uh, this, is a, this is like a day that we're inviting the community to come to the theater uh, and enjoy free screenings, uh, free popcorn. There'll be giveaways. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and the, on that day, we're going to be screening uh, for free. For members, we'll have Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom. Uh, if you're not a member, this is a great time to join and get that invite. Uh, but earlier in the day, we'll have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone uh, for free for the general public. And then later on in the day, it'll be Moonlight. Wow, you have a lot going on. <laughs> yes. Very cool, very cool what you're doing in the community. Uh, let's talk about some of the films that are showing right now, including The Beguiled. The Beguiled, yeah. This is a, a film from Sofia Coppola, who did The Virgin Suicides and Lost in Translation. Uh, this is a film starring Nicole Kidman and Kirsten Dunst and uh, Colin Farrell. It's about a Civil War era all-girls school in the South. A Union soldier, a wounded Union soldier shows up and they take him in and it kind of causes all kinds of chaos that sounds fun. and tensions. Yes. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a it's a southern <laughs> slow oh gosh, pot awesome. boiler. It's a thriller. It's yeah. uh it's quite good. Okay. What else? Yeah. Yeah, something else there. Uh, uh Beatrice at Beatrice Dinner, at right? Dinner, now. Yeah. Beatrice at Dinner. That's uh Selma Hayek and John Lithgow. And this is about oh, both great actors. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah. Selma Hayek is fantastic in this film. And that's her on the right. That's yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look her. like her. Know. Yeah, this yeah. is a this is a big Connie reach Britain. for her. I mean, I think she's she's a great actress. She's always had this kind of role. She's been capable of this kind of role for a long time. But she's really going for it here. Yeah. Uh, it's about a dinner party where uh, Selma Hayek is sort of like a idealistic, uh, holistic healer, and John Lithgow is a cynical businessman, and they're at the same is dinner that a party. Comedy? And they, it is a dark comedy. A it is very funny. dark comedy, right? Very funny and very dark, and it's just sort of like this dinner party that goes very awry. Yeah, Ooh. it goes bad. Have you been at one of those before? Uh, maybe one or maybe, two. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, your Forever Young series is extremely popular. Uh, what's coming up with that? This is really exciting. So our Forever Young series is something that we have for film lovers of all ages. It's ongoing. Uh, this summer is the 20th anniversary of the character Harry Potter. The first mm -hmm. Harry Potter book came out in summer 1997. Wow. Uh, wow. So we're going to show all eight of the film adaptations. All of them. All of them. So, uh, yeah, throughout the rest of this month and, uh, and uh, a little bit of August, uh, we're going to show each and every one of those movies. There's eight of them. So. Well, people are going to be lined up to get those tickets. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. I never Harry Potter. I never did. I never did either. But I mean, yeah. there's a, it has a huge cult following. Oh yes, absolutely. yeah. I'll tell you that. There's a few people. I there's a few that. people that still like yeah. it. Sights on Sounds uh, is another My favorite. series you have. Yep. So this is a uh, rock documentaries, rock movies. Uh, we do this on Sundays at 7 p.m. Uh, we've already done a couple this this summer so far, but we've got films on the Beatles coming up, uh, or one film on the Beatles coming up. We have. Uh, uh, some punk rock uh, concert films. There's a lot coming up in that in the coming weeks. 
best thing to do is just to check out the site to see yep. the website upcoming schedule. And we only have a few seconds, but can you update us on your uh, Dundee project? Absolutely. The Dundee Theater is coming back. We are hard at work on it right now. Uh, we are on schedule with the construction. Uh, and right now, if you go to filmstreams.org slash Dundee, you can get tons of details and you can figure out how you can help support the Dundee's future. The, ren the renderings on that look amazing. Oh, yeah, that was And cool. every time I drive by, you're making progress all the time. That's right. It's going pretty quickly. Hard at work. Patrick, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks Thank for coming you. in. Thank you very much. All right. More information. Filmstreams.org, uh, filmstreams 933-0259.